Hey guys, it's Jeff with Expedition Essentials and today we're going to give you guys a walkthrough on how to install the new GX460 track mount. And uh, pretty easy and uh, luckily awesome customer Mike brought us this pretty sweet GX to do this install on so let's get started. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to take our center mount and we're going to place it inside the recessed portion that's above your radio just like that and you're going to mark your holes for drilling where the four holes are one on each side and two in the center just like that all right, so step two, we're gonna take your drill with an eighth inch drill bit and we're gonna drill the four locations that we previously marked. Being careful not to drill too far, you only wanna drill in just far enough for a very short screw. So do not drill into your audio buttons and nav buttons and all that good stuff. It doesn't take much, the screws aren't very long. So just take your time and do it right. And here's something to, to take note of on these two holes right here. These guys here have two layers you have to drill through. So you'll have to go a little further on them. All right, so now we have the holes drilled. Next thing we're gonna do is install your center mount using these self-tapping screws that we have provided. Just be careful you don't over tighten them because you are threaded into plastic. And uh, that's pretty much it. That, uh, if you just purchased configuration A, this is where you would stop. You're pretty much done. You're ready to use it. It's still a really nice solid mount. You would just need to add the two screws to hold the end caps on the end and you'd be done. All right, so the next step we're doing here is for configuration B. It adds two side mounts here for heavier items. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. We're gonna start by pulling the trim pieces off, which is really easy. You're just pulling the trim pieces off. Uh, just got plastic clips. Really simple, easy to do. You can pull this one off, this guy here. like that and we're going to come over to the other side and remove one more piece um, you're also going to remove this engine start panel right here same thing it's just got plastic clips and pull it out all right so next thing we're going to do is we're going to temporarily install your side mounts so we can mark the holes using a 32nd half inch screw through the end cap with a black nylock nut. And just go ahead and snug it down, but not too much. You wanna make sure you're able to move it around so you can mark your holes. Do the same thing on the other side with the right side bracket. All 
right, now we have these side mounts temporarily installed. We're going to go ahead and position these to mark the holes. You're going to want to flex it a little bit, make sure that it's straight up and down and that you have your clearance here for your trim piece and you can see on most GX's you can see the wear mark where on the plastic of where it sits so you just want to make sure that you have enough room there and go ahead and mark your hole and you're going to do the same thing over here on the driver's side Once you have your holes marked, you can go ahead and pull these side brackets back off. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to drill our mounts drill our holes for our side mounts and as you can see there's not much clearance here for the steering wheel so you want to turn it fully to the right and go with your stock down um, to make room for your drill and uh, we're using a 3 16 drill bit here Same thing over here. All right, now we've got our holes drilled, so we're gonna go ahead and permanently install our side brackets, starting with the driver's side. and an 8 30 seconds half inch long countersunk screw and number 8 Starlock nut washer. And we'll move over to the passenger side. Once you have those tightened up, pretty much done with the mount, we're going to go ahead and put our trim pieces back in. And that's pretty much it. We've got our trim pieces back in, mounts fully installed and ready to go. So uh, put your gadgets on and hit the road.